This is iTunes. iTunes is free for both Mac and PC. We're gonna use this to update and backup your iPad right now. As soon as you guys open up iTunes, you may get this right away because you guys have connected your iPad to your computer. So don't worry if you don't get this message to update it to the latest OS. Let's just cancel that right now. It's no big deal. You should see this up here on the top left hand side. There should be an iPad symbol type of thing. So let's just click right there. And from there on iTunes, you guys will see this. Okay, so it will tell you the serial number, how many gigs, plus the backup and update. So at this point, what I want you guys to pick is right here, the second option where it says backup now. So that's exactly right here. So at this point, some of you might have iCloud turned on. So just back up to this computer right now. And we're gonna just select backup. So let me just click on backup. If you do get this message right now, just select transfer purchases. If you did not get that message, maybe it's your first time, you will not get that message. So don't worry about it. So right now it's gonna do our backup. So we can see that blue bar up there. It's just loading step two out of four. And then finally, when, once it's at four out of four, then we can continue on and hit update right here from iTunes. Once again, iTunes is free for both Windows and Mac computers. So if you guys have a regular laptop that runs Windows, iTunes is free. You guys can download it right from apple.com. Okay, so once it's done the backup, you might see this message. This is really up to you guys if you want this to automatically download everything or not. So again, it's not for everybody. So I'm gonna put not now for now. So finally up here, you will see update. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So right now this does tell you that there's an update for it and we can go ahead and click on update. Once we click on update, we will see this. So we're gonna continue on and we will see this and we're just gonna press on update. After that window pops up, you will see this. Just click on next and then we're gonna click on agree. Finally, on your iPad itself, you will see a white screen and then just type in whatever passcode you guys have. Once you do that, you will see this screen. This is normal. It's actually downloading the update right now. On your iPad, yeah, you can still use it. I suggest not using it for now. Just do this and then use it later. But yes, you guys could watch Netflix, for example, on your iPad while it's downloading because the download is taking care right here on your iTunes, okay? So it's gonna download and then it's gonna install. The whole process will not take that long. It really depends on your internet speed. Plus it depends what where you guys are coming from. For example, if you guys are in iOS 11 or 10 and want to update to iOS 12, well, that's a big update. However, if you guys are in iOS, let's say 12.3, then from 12.3 to 12.4, it's not a huge gap. So there's only a couple megabytes, it's not humongous. So it's not gonna take up too much space either on your iPad itself. Anyways, it all depends on your internet speed. But for most of you, I wouldn't, say this would take more than five to 10 minutes in total. Again, it really does depend on your internet speed and which iPad you guys have as well. So as the process is happening, you will see your iPad turn off and then just restart. You guys will see a white screen, Apple logo and a loading bar. So that's why I told you guys to have it always hooked up to your computer and never disconnected once you start installing and updating because something could go wrong, okay? Uh, but anyways, we made that backup just in case you guys screw up somehow, so don't worry too much about it. All right, guys, so after your iPad restarts one more time, you guys see that Apple logo loading bar one more time, you guys will see that it restarts and it will bring you back into access your iPad. It's gonna ask you for your passcode. That's not your iCloud ID, by the way. It's just your passcode, whatever you guys set up in order to get into your iPad. If you didn't set up in a passcode, don't worry about it, it's not gonna ask you for anything. Once again, it's not gonna ask you for your iCloud ID. I know a lot of you ask me that and you want for this update. Anyways, right now, you guys can go ahead, go right here on iTunes. You guys will see that it's on iOS 12.4 and you are all done. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Oh,